Well, you know what? It's the first time I've ever gotten the flu shot. And uh, I was uh, advised by my doctor that it would be a good thing to do. So I did, and I'm really happy I did. If you haven't gotten sick yet, then you might want to thank your flu shot. And if you haven't gotten the flu shot, then maybe you're just lucky. Canadian researchers say that this year's influenza vaccine is more than three times more effective in preventing you from getting sick compared to last year's. Why did you decide to get it? Because I have some friends and family that have gotten the flu pretty bad and thought, you know, needle's not so bad, why not? So have you gotten sick yet this year? No, I haven't, and a lot of people have. As of January 19th, we've had 1,206 lab-confirmed cases of influenza reported to Toronto Public Health, mm -hmm. and that is, um, it is slightly higher than the five-year average, which I think was about 1,114, but not a big difference. And we've had 40 um, influenza outbreaks reported, which is lower than the um, five-year average of 67. The Public Health Agency of Canada says at least seven children under the age of 10 have died from complications of influenza as as of January 12th. Elderly people have had time to develop immunity, to build up immunity against mm -hmm. H1N1 that they maintain over years, um, whereas children have not had that opportunity. So we tend to see uh, increased uh, numbers of cases in younger people. With more people getting sick, it's a good thing the flu shot is working much better. Canadian researchers say this season's influenza vaccine is 72% more effective in preventing Canadians from getting sick. Last year, that number significantly lower less than 20 percent. When you look at how vaccines are um, developed, what happens is there's sort of global surveillance that goes on every year. And so all these different countries are contributing data from doing swabs on people with flu. And they look at, they analyze it and see what strain it is. And they send that information up to the World Health Organization. And then in February of every year, the experts sit down, they look at all the data, they look at what's going, along, going, going on in other countries regarding flu. And they make a decision for the Northern Hemisphere flu shot, which is the flu shot that we use here mm -hmm. in Canada. Who's at most risk of getting the flu? So in general, um, anyone who doesn't have immunity is at risk of getting influenza. We know that um, there's some certain general categories of people who are at high risk for in influenza-related complications, and in it, that also includes hospitalization. And that would include people who have uh, chronic medical conditions, both adults and children, all pregnant women, Indigenous people, people over 65 years of age or under 5 years of age, and that would also include people who are residents of nursing homes or other chronic care facilities. According to Statistics Canada, about 34% of Ontarians actually rolled up their sleeve to get the shot from 2015 to 2016. 61% of seniors and 20% of young adults. Did you get the flu shot? No. Why not? I never do. You never do? No, I never do, and I never get uh, flu. I did, actually. Oh, you did? Yeah. Do, do you normally get it? Um, I do. My mom's a nurse. Honestly, I just haven't had the time. I've been busy with work, so I haven't really booked the time for that yet. Do you get it every year? Yes. Toronto Public Health says that it isn't too late to get the flu shot, even though it's more effective to get it in November, the start of flu season. Now, they also say it's important to remember that it's respiratory outbreak season, so make sure you wash your hands plenty of times. Don't touch your face with your hands, and if you're sick, stay at home, don't go to work.